Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a Hyundai Santa Fe guys and you have currently coming from the water pump. We'll explain the top two places where you can develop that and why. Make sure guys you stand till the end. We need to share something with you guys after uh, let's say adding coolant or replacing water pump. You need to do one thing guys. If you forget about it, you can severely okay, overheat your engine, damage it to the point that you may end up needing even a new engine. So stay with us and we'll explain what it is with the engine out of that Hyundai Santa Fe we can show you even better guys okay what we're talking about you don't need to remove your engine the reason we have it out is because we'll make hundreds of videos that can potentially save you thousands of dollars so let's explain where you can develop a leak from the water pump so this should work on Hyundai Santa Fe generation 2013 all the way to year 2016 guys with a 2.4 GDI engine. Now let me introduce you to the channel quick. Every single car we get at the garage we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you how to fix practically anything guys. Why we do all that? Simply because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can. Oh we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. This engine, okay, will be completely taken apart, transmission will show how to fix almost anything on it another thing if you need to buy any parts or tools guys okay check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all the tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well that's where we get all our supplies from so this right here okay this is the engine and uh, before we start let me tell you guys if you have a Hyundai with a 2.4 GDI engine or other cars check our main channel how to repair guys we have helped more than 110 million people guys we have information that can save you time thousands of dollars so let's start on it now so this guy's engine is out of a 2013 Hyundai 2.4 GDI engine but even if you have a 6 cylinder engine on some new Santa Fe's okay uh, uh, the 3.3 I think it is the procedure could be very very similar guys but let's explain now what can cause okay uh, leak from the water pump on the 2.4 GDI engine but before we start okay I want to share something with you guys many of you ask me in the comment section below to recommend a good computer scanner for diagnostics and this is the one that we recommend I'll put the link in the description of the video below it's amazing too that can pay itself off in one time use so check out the link guys it works on almost any car you can think of so definitely guys it's a great great scanner now let's explain okay about the water pump water pump guys okay on the 2.4 gdi engine is installed okay on the serpentine belt side and it's driven by the serpentine belt this is okay let me see where we left the pulley okay this is the pulley for the water pump you have to uh, when you remove them you always have to remove the pulley so you can remove the pump otherwise you cannot get the bolts loose now that water pump itself guys where it can develop leaks number one thing when they start failing okay uh, they will develop a leak okay coming from behind the pulley okay right here because what will happen it will develop a play and eventually that water pump will develop a leak and as a result guys okay you will end up leaking from right here the coolant will come from here and it will exit between the pulley and the pump the water pump housing what about another leak that can develop it's from the gasket guys now the gasket okay will be right here between the water pump and the water pump housing it's very important guys and every time you put a new pump what do you need to do you need to put a new gasket but also you need to clean the housing really good because if you leave it like that you can see that black black coating from the gasket can actually guys cause okay the new gasket not to seal correctly and that can cause okay a leak as well those are the number two things that can develop guys okay that can easily develop leaks so uh, we'll recommend guys okay we'll recommend to just wipe and see where the leak is coming from if it's from the front of the pump okay definitely pump needs to be replaced if it's from the gasket you might be able just to replace the gasket but if you're to the point you're replacing or fixing the gasket with silicone put a new pump guys it's not it's not much expensive it's not very expensive and we'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get one from hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time